Hey guys, if you're new to our channel, I'm JC. And I'm Casey. And today we're gonna to be testing out TikTok baking hacks and recipes. And these all look really, really cool. We're super excited to try them and see if they actually work. I can't wait to eat them. I hope they taste good. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a Rice Krispie treat in a mug. We have our mugs and I think we should just Start putting in the ingredients. Get right into it. To start, we're gonna pour in some marshmallows. And that's one half cup. Got some. Oh my goodness. I was scared you were gonna spill it. I almost said. So, a half cup of marshmallows. This is like a little treat, like just a single serving. I really hope it tastes like a Rice Krispie treat by the end of this. I think it will. I mean, it's the same ingredients. It's just made differently. Now we're gonna take a tablespoon of butter and put it in. Everything's in the mug and we're gonna go microwave this for 30 seconds and see if it melts. If not, we might need to do more. Okay, we'll be right back. Everything's melted, so we're gonna start adding the Rice Krispie treats. I'll pour it for you. We're doing a half cup of those as well. Yum, Rice Krispie treats are so good. They are. Okay, here. Even just the cereal itself. Ah, I'm okay. gonna mess it up for you. I'm Start gonna... really fast before everything hardens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a bit messy for me. Wow, this is gonna be really convenient if this works. We could just like make one Rice, tre rice Krispie treat when we want. Honestly, because making them is a little bit of a process sometimes. And it's extremely messy usually. Yes. Please. I think I need more Rice Krispies. Just a little bit. I think that it's really working. Like this is what it usually looks like when you're making I know, them. but it's not like combined yet. Well, you need to let it cool for a bit. Okay. But how are we gonna get it out of here once it cools? I don't know. In the video, she just took it out and it was ready to go. Maybe just scoop it? We are pressing everything down to the bottom of the mugs, kind of like condensing it so that mm -hmm. it will harden into a Rice Krispie treat, hopefully. We're gonna let these cool for 10 minutes and hopefully we're able to get them out of the bottom of these mugs. We might need like knives or something to get it out. Maybe. But let's let these cool because they're really hot right now. 10 minutes has gone by and we're gonna try and take out our Rice Krispie treats from from the mugs. That's all I think. Oh, look at it. Okay. Okay. This looks good. I'm just gonna eat it because it's falling apart. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. A little too buttery though. Yeah. I think there's I too had much. way too much butter. That bite had too much butter because it was at the bottom. Mmm, this is so good. That tastes exactly like a Rice Krispie mm -hmm. treat. That was actually really good. It tastes like a Rice Krispie treat, and it's basically the same process, but in a mug. And, and it's, it's so easy. And it's really fast compared to when you actually make them on the stove. I definitely recommend this. <laughs> this was a really good hack. I would approve of it. And I think that if you guys want just one Rice Krispie treat, like a snack for yourself, this is a great thing to make because you don't have to make the entire tray. Yeah, it literally tastes exactly like a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah. The next recipe we're gonna make is donut from pancake mix this one is actually really cool I've never really heard of this before until TikTok, but this looks pretty cool yeah we're just gonna make some pancake mix put it in these donut pans and then they're gonna bake in the oven I didn't know that you could bake pancake mix but that's cool I mean whatever heats it up it's gonna like form that's true <laughs> I hope that these donuts taste really good let's start making the mix you make this all the time do you want to do the honors yeah I'll do it we're putting in two cups of the pancake mix okay that's probably good enough it says one and a half cups of water and we have that ready to go so pour it in <laughs> Casey makes pancakes all the time I don't even know how to make pancakes I'm gonna slowly add the water in because I don't want to make it too watery see yeah I'm going to spray pan on the donut pan I just mixed everything and I'm gonna pour it into the donut things. Oh gosh. You just filled them up so high. We were able to make seven, our lucky number. We have the donuts poured and we're gonna go put them in the oven at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. I'm excited to see if these even turn out. I know, me too. We'll see. Here are the donuts. They don't even look like donuts at the moment. They are just overflowing everywhere, but we could always cut the edges off and just make them flat on the bottom. But they seem to be working and cooking pretty good. So we'll keep you guys updated. The pancake donuts are done baking. And, and look at them. They don't look like donuts right now, so we're gonna have to fix them up. 
I think we're each just gonna take one and cut the centers out. Yeah, I think that's all we have to do. We're getting little donut holes also. How oh, cute. Oh yeah, like the little munchkins. Little munchkins. It smells like pancakes, obviously. It does so smell like pancakes. I'm not sure this is gonna taste like a donut, but... I really don't think it can taste like a donut. It's just gonna taste like a frosted pancake. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so fluffy. So we just cut out the middle and then now it really looks like a donut. Pancake donut. We got our frosting right here and I'm gonna frost my donut. It's gonna be a chocolate frosted one. I'm gonna make a vanilla frosted one. That's the one I always get at like Dunkin'. We always are opposites. Yes, with our food we're very different, I think. I always love chocolate and she always loves vanilla. I think I should add the sprinkles too to be a little extra. These look really good. Let's try them out. So many sprinkles. <gasps> the texture is like a, a lot donut. different from a pancake. It tastes like a donut, kind of. It's less fluffy. This does not taste like a donut to me because I know what pancakes taste like, but it's, it's so interesting. good. Like, I've never had a pancake in this shape at all. Pancakes are usually really small as well. This is like a really thick one. Mm -hmm. If you were making like a really thick pancake, this is what it would taste like. Literally. The frosting makes it extra better, to be honest. Do you think it tastes like a donut? No, it tastes like a pancake. Really? Mm-hmm. So are you gonna start frosting your pancakes then? I <laughs> might, because this tastes really good. <laughs> I'm actually really glad we tried this hack and if we ever want donuts at home, I think we should do this again. I know, even though it doesn't taste like a donut, it still is a really good treat. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like Dunkin' Donuts, but they kind of taste like donuts to me. I don't Just know. Just the shape. Yeah. <laughs> the shape really makes it. We have some more donuts if we want to eat them later. They're really good. I definitely will make another one. The last hack we are going to be trying is a Cool Whip ice cream hack. I really want to see if this works. And it's good because it's low calories it's not as much as like real ice cream yeah it's low fat as well compared to ice cream so hopefully this works maybe I'll use it again and we're gonna be using the jello chocolate flavor and vanilla to make vanilla ice cream and, and chocolate. chocolate ice cream so let's open up the jello and the cool whip I guess we just pour it in yep then we just mix it Ooh, I forgot how much I miss Cool Whip and I fruit. I love Cool Whip. The TikTok did not tell us how much of the jello we're gonna be pouring in, so we're just gonna go for it and guess. All right. This is gonna be harder to mix yeah. than I thought. I thought this was like soft. We just bought the Cool Whip today, so I'm assuming it was just frozen in the store and that's why it's hard. Cause usually it's really soft. I'm just gonna go for it and pour the whole thing. It's gonna be a super vanilla ice cream, I guess. Now that the pudding mix is in our Cool Whip and we've mixed it together pretty good, we are gonna freeze this and turn it into ice cream. It looks good already, but I know, I literally wanna eat it right now, but I can't. It needs to be ice cream first. It needs to be that consistency. So we're gonna freeze this for one to two hours and we'll keep you guys updated. We let the Cool Whip ice cream sit for an, an hour, hour and, and a half. half in the freezer and now it's, hard. it's really hard it kind of feels like ice cream so i'm gonna give myself a scoop me too oh maybe. it's still like fluffy though but it that's is. just like the consistency of cool whip this so. looks like an ice cream scoop not even gonna lie mine is like fluffy does like this smell like anything to you i'm just i can't yeah tell. it smells like vanilla i can't really smell that it's it smells like vanilla faint. ice cream <laughs> all right we're gonna try it i'm nervous mm. This does not taste like ice cream to me at all. Mm. Okay, a little bit. It tastes like pudding, like mm -hmm. thick pudding. That was really good, but I feel like this is worse than ice cream because it's very sugary. Like, like I could feel the grains when yeah. you were like mixing it. Like it's still mixed. It definitely tastes like pudding. I'll give you that. It does. And maybe if we let it sit longer, it'd be really hard, but right now it's like squishy kind of. Yeah, it is still a little squishy. But... I think that it tastes pretty good for the most part. I just would prefer real ice cream. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This was a little hard to make as well because stirring it made a mess. It tastes good. It literally is just like fluffy pudding. Fluffy pudding. That's you guys want to try it? it. <laughs> yeah, if you want fluffy pudding, this is a good option. It doesn't really remind me of ice cream though. Not it looks really. like it, but it doesn't taste like it. I'm glad we got to try this though. This is really cool, and I didn't know you could do this with Cool Whip. I know, me either. I'm just used to dipping fruit in Cool Whip, not making <laughs> ice cream out of it. 
Out of all the hacks and recipes we tried today, I think that the Rice Krispie Treat in a mug was my favorite. My favorite had to be the Rice Krispie Treat too. Really? Mm -hmm. The second favorite was the donuts and then my least favorite was probably the ice cream. Yeah, this one wasn't the best. <laughs> I think the donuts still tasted really good. It was just like a pancake. Yeah, exactly. But the Rice Krispie Treat is super useful and I feel like I'm going to use that again sometime, especially I will. I know in I will. college. Like I can use my microwave to make Rice Krispie Treats now and I didn't know that. We had so much fun trying these hacks. And if you guys have any other TikTok video ideas or just any video ideas in general, you can let us know on our Instagram at JC and KC. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and please share with your family and your friends. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. We, we love you so much. Bye.